tracker can automatically track your progress. taking your supplements by now. Remember, we're going to use dumbbells. So you got dumbbells back there. Lisa's going to be using those. And Sean's going to have the resistance bands. You need water and a towel nearby. You need them later. Also, remember, have a chair nearby for uh, the dips. You guys ready? All right, we're going to start with a stretch. Let's take a deep breath. And exhale the chin down. Now, roll the right knee to the right shoulder. We're going to start with the neck and work our way all the way through. Now, back to the front. Left side, left ear, left shoulder. Take our time. There's no rush to this. You don't want to go back. It's a little rough on the neck. Here we go to the right side again for number two. And you're always breathing back. Back down to the front. Number two on the left side. Left ear, left shoulder, face is facing forward. Back down to the front. Last time on the right side. Good. Back down to the front. Last time on the left side. Here we go. The next nice and warm, back down to the front, and head up with a new shoulder. Three back, here we go. Loosen up those shoulders. That's two. Here's number three. Good, let's go forward for one. And two. And three. Let's, let's stretch out that right shoulder, arms across. Hook up the knee. Let's go back to the back of the shoulder right over there. Hook up more. Take that right arm up. Reach behind. Grab the right elbow left hand and with the shoulder and also the upper lat of the land of Samaria. Real good. And then bring up the left arm out. Now kind of the knee. Use the left side. Opening up that shoulder. Good. Bring it up. And behind. Grab the left elbow with the right hand. And open up that shoulder and left. Good, good, good. All right. Bring it up. Open up that stance, you guys. Take a deep breath up. Here we go. Clasp the fingers and reach up tall. Good. Turn that right foot out. We're gonna go down. Work that lat a little bit more. Reach up to that left hand. Eyes on that thumb. Put a little bit of bonus in there. Reach off. One direction. There we go. And up. Other side. Over. Turn that foot out. Reach up tall. Hear the word audio Bible. And we're gonna go over to the right hand. Keeping that original tricep. And good. Reach up. And three chest stretches. Here we go. There's one. Pull wide across the chest. That's one. Turn the hands out. Let's do it again. How are we doing back there, everybody? Good. Here's number two. And number three. Here we go. Big, tall stretch. Pull wide across the chest. And now slowly swan dive down to the spine. Open up the legs nice and wide. Good. A little bit wider leaflet. There we go. Sean, looking good. You're going to hang out here. Fold the arms, relax the head. This is a nice low back stretch. Good. No rush here, guys. We're stretching. Hands on the floor. Let's take a deep breath. Exhale the air over to the right side. Grab the right shin or foot as low as you can go. Imagine pulling your head down to your shoe. If you can engage the legs and keep them tight and straight, that's fine. If you have to bend them, it's no big deal. Let's go back to center with a deep breath. Exhale it over to the left side. Good. Guys, looking good back there. Let's take a deep breath to center again. Now exhale over to the right side, bending the right knee. Turn the right foot out a little bit. Keep the left leg straight. And make sure the knee is over the ankle. Good. Get that knee over the ankle. If you don't feel this stretch, just drop it down some. Deep breath to center. Exhale over to the other side. Same thing on the left side. Knees over the ankle. Legs are straight. Put them on the floor. Good. Okay. Air into the center. Exhale over and let's turn. Face to the right. And we'll run into that floor. Back legs as straight as you can make it. Let's get a little bit more intense here. Maybe grab pillow from your arms. Now, if you can't straighten your right leg, that's no big deal. If you only do it like that, that's fine. Do what you can. Get that toe up in there. Sort of an exaggerated calf. We're going down. How are you guys doing? Yeah, it's good. Come on up. For number 
two. I'm doing this three times. Last time on the right side. Here we go. And up. Take a deep breath to center. Exhale over to the left. And turn to the left. Same thing here. Three times on the side. Toes up. Very flexible. And down. Center. Here we go. Into a waist stretch next. We'll place the left hand on the floor. Reach up with the right hand. Keep with your eyes on that top thumb. If you have to bend your knees here, that's okay. So work in the waist. Quick breathing. That's really important. Like the entire stretch. Good. Let's come on down. Place the left hand with the right hand. Other side. Very good. Man, do I feel that. You guys feel that? It's a great stretch. All right, both hands down on the floor. Put your hands on your knees and roll up real slow. One vertebrae at a time. Knees are bent. Your head's the last thing to come up. Shins on the chest. Stand up tall. That's the stretch. Let's get busy with some push-ups first. You guys ready to go? All right, here we go. This is it. Hands are about six inches wider than the shoulders. Here's the pace. Down, hold, up, hold. Down, hold, up, down, hold, up, hold. Here we go. Let's check out these two guys. Yeah, good. Down, hold, up, hold. That's the pace. Back's flat, stomach is strong. And up, great for me, guys. Down, up, nice. Back to straight. Good form for these guys. Really good. Okay, let's go to some heavy pants. Heavy pants or back exercises. Grab your weight. Sean's got the resistance bands. One foot's in front of the other. You're going to bend those knees. You're going to reach down below your feet. Straight up. It's called heavy pants because you're pulling your pants out right up. Just like that. Just floating them up nice and easy down. Strong. Good straight arm. All the way up. Good form, good motion. That's good. Let's check out the crease right there. Nice form. Look at that. If you can reach a little bit lower, you get more range of motion, which is nice. Reach right down to my hand. Showing good. Use these bands. It's a really, really effective. Nice straight back. Nice straight back. Nobody's going to get hurt that way. That's really, really important. Excellent for me, guys. I want to hear that breathing. Nice. There you go. Good. Keep it coming. We're almost there. We're going to do some military press next. We're almost finished. Here we go with the military presses. Now, grab your waist. Your bands. You guys all set up. Okay. One push in front of the other again. And bring them right up. Hands are facing forward. Reach up nice and tall. Down. Nice and tall. Down. Chest is up. Eyes are forward. Good. If you have any pressure on your lower back, that means the weight's too heavy. You need to lighten things up a little bit. Let's go and check these guys out. Good. Chest is up. Straight arms. Your eyes are forward. Really, really, really good. Good, Sean. Reach up tall, man. Get those arms nice and straight. Yeah, yeah. He's got the bands, which makes it really, really tough. Nice straight arms all the way up. Good. Bend those knees a little bit. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, you guys. Really good. Make sure you're breathing. Form is really, really nice. Good, you guys. Great. Here we go. We're almost in a bicep curl. Okay. Here we go. One foot's in front of the other. Chest up tall. Bring them right up. Right Simple, standard bicep curl. Just like that. Make sure the arms are already, already straight, all the way down. Here we go. Let's check on the guys out here. Let's go. Bend those knees just a touch. Sean, there you go. All the way. Keep that chest up. Head up. Nice. Good form. Good form. Both of you guys. Knees are bent. One foot's in front of the other. The reason why you put one foot in front of the other is because it helps your back. If your legs are locked straight, there's too much pressure on your lower back. And you don't want that. All right. Finish it up. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Good. That's it. Adjust your weights as necessary. You guys set up for some one arm called back scratchers. Let's work in the tricep. Grab your weight. Same thing with the feet. Left hand's on the hip. We're going to start with the right hand. Drop it down. Raise it up. Drop it down. Raise it up. Just like that. See the straight line from here to here? Really important. Boom. You also want to drop that arm a little below parallel behind your head and straighten it out. Straighten it up. Here we go. Let's 
too, so I do well to be angry. Angry enough uh -huh. to cry. Looking good. Nice and straight from here to here. Heads up, chest up, knees are bent. Sean, you're looking good. Now, you feel that, you guys? Yes, you do. All right. Now, remember, you're doing 8 to 15 reps here. Then we switch sides right away, right over to the left side. How are we doing? Looking good. Five reps to go. Let's finish them off, you guys. And bang. So, as you guys are done, pop off the other side, switch the feet, right hands on the hip, reach it up tall, same form, identical form to the other side. Nice and straight at the top, reach it up tall, make sure to breathe, bend those knees, you guys, it's really important, it never changes, not during any of these exercises. Good, if you got a shoulder issue, remember, you can always do a kickback exercise like this. That's an option in case you've got some kind of shoulder pain. That's okay. Let's see how you guys are doing back here. Knees are bent, back is straight. You guys are perfect. You don't need any help. They're fantastic. Nice and straight. It looks really good. Sean, nice. You guys are looking real, real good. Make sure to breathe. We've got a few more left. Let's go. Here we go. Finish it off. Good. And last one. Boom. Let's go to lunch. Let's clear the floor. Starting in one corner, two in this direction, two back. Nice and tall, you guys ready to go? Here we go. Right leg first, knees over the ankle. Step, left leg, just like that. Boom, let's turn. Back again, right leg. Up. Back legs are nice and straight, you guys. Boom, make sure that knee's over the ankle. And let's turn, here we go. Bam, back leg straight. Let's see the form. Good, get that knee up a little bit, Sean. Nice, there you go. Turn for me. Let's see, going back. Good, back leg. See how straight that leg is? It's perfect, you guys. Good, good, good. All right. And turn. Last one. Come on. Straighten that back leg for me, Sean. I know you can do it. Big, strong guy like you. Come on. Bring it up. Yeah, buddy. There you go. Perfect. Turn and come back. Let's see. Lisa, good. Your posture's good. Your balance is good. Nice, nice, you guys. All right. Here we go. That's in around round one. We're going to stretch. First thing we stretch are the quads, because we just used them. All right? So grab an ankle and get that quad. If you don't feel that, stand tall. You can hold this for a few beats. And switch sides. Now remember, if you don't have superior balance like the three of us, you can always use a chair or a wall to support yourself. Okay? That's okay. Nice and tall, get that quad. Now we're going back to the right leg. We're going to stretch the calf and the hamstring. Put that right leg out. Bend over. Pull on that toe for some bonus threat. I'm pulling that. Don't ask me why. Here we go. Calf hamstring. Bending down. You really, really feel that. You guys feel that stretch? We're going to switch sides. Here we go. Other side. Nice. All right. Let's get the shoulders. Because we use them every time. Back and forth. Back and forth. Good. All right, you guys. Wide feet. Here we go. Let's open up the chest. Deep breath. Wide. One more. Good. Stretch is over. You guys ready for the next round? Fly push ups. Hands are real wide this time. Okay. Looks like this. Four to six inches. Now we're about nine inches away. Same form. Down, hold, and up. Down, hold, hold, and up. Let's see you guys. Same as the first round. Backs are straight, stomachs are tight, nice and deep. Heads are not up and heads are not down. And make sure to breathe. And down, hold, and up. Down, hold, and up. These guys are getting the workout fixed to me. Yeah, you guys, looking really good. Good, good form. We're almost there. Remember, 8 to 15 reps on this, too. So we're going to do 15 here. Hold and up. Nice form. Nice breathing. you both did it. Here we go. A few left. Down. And up. Down. And up. All right. We're going to back flies next. Like heavy pants, same position. But we're going to pull back. You're flying like a bird. Just like that. Boom. Open it up nice and wide. Knees are bent, back is flat. Nice. Let's see the 
excellent that day, you guys. Good. Good. Look how flat that back is. Reach down, reach down low. Get down there nice and low. There you go. Explode back. What you don't want to do is make this a shoulder exercise, all right? It really benefits rhomboids, lower back, top of the neck. You got a few more reps to go. Here we go. Explode it up. Good. Next, the swimmer's press. It's like the standard press, but you're going to corkscrew it up and bring it down. You guys ready? Looks like this. Knees are bent still, back is straight, chest is up. Place them right here at the top of the curl and straighten them out. Just like that, at that pace. Remember, guys, it's the first program. One, two, don't overdo it with the weights. A lot of pressure here on the shoulders and back. So adjust your weight accordingly. Let's see how everybody's doing behind them. Perform nice, you guys. Those resistance bands really work, don't they, Sean? Man, he's getting to work out. He's looking good. Oh, good. You want to come nice and low down to the bottom of a curl movement. Hope you're pushing those elbows back, you guys, a little bit. That's it. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. A few left. Here we go. Good. Right from here, get your weights. Get them adjusted. Now we're going to open arm curls. One foot in front of the other. Knees are bent. Chest is up. Open up those hands off to the side and curl them up and down. Boom. Never lose your posture. Really important here. Don't bend over. Straighten the arms at the bottom. All the way open. And then all the way close. Let's set the guys behind me. Let's see. Good form. Nice straight arm. Perfect. Straighten that arm. Back is straight. Head really, really tones up the bicep. Great exercise. Nice breathing, you guys. Looking good. Remember, 8 to 15 reps. Whatever you can do, we're going to do 15 here, okay? we got five left. Four left. Go. We're going to finish them up with a two. Two to go. Last one. Now you have two arm kickbacks. We're going to try to give you the side profile so you see what it looks like. Bend over, straighten them in the back, just like that. Bent over, big bend in the knees, shoulder the shoulder, and kick him back and pause for a second. Kick it back and pause for a second. Bam. Let's see. Good. Good, good, good. Backs are straight. Don't cock the head down too much. Bring them all the way to the shoulders. Bam. Squeeze your feet far back. There you go. And squeeze back here at the top. Squeeze right there. Bam. Excellent. And make sure to breathe this. Also, remember. This exercise is tough, so lighten your weights a little bit. It builds the shoulders and the triceps. We got four reps to go. Here we go. Jump back in. Get a little workout in yourself. Good. Two. Bam. One more. Boom. Drop them down. Last of round two, we're going to do lunge squat combo. Right leg first, just like the lunges, but we do squats in between. We do three. Here we go. Down, knees over the ankle, stop, and down, and up. Down. You want to make sure you come all the way up and nice and tall at the top. All your weight's on your heels. Let's go left leg. Boom. And turn. Right leg, down. And three. Here we go. One. See, no reason to rush through these, you guys. Just take your time. Let's check the form. Let's see. Good. And turn. Boom. Right leg, back leg, straight as you can make it, Sean. Let's see those squats. Nice and tall. Nice and tall. One more. Good. Let's see. Come on back. Turn. All right, last one, last time. Come on, bring it on. Big lunge with the knee over the ankle. Legs got to be straight. Really, really important. Three squats. One. So you see how they stand up nice and tall every time? Hands are up for balance. That's important. Good. Good, you guys. Excellent. At the end of round two, we're going to take a little water and towel break. So grab some water. Now remember, you guys, there's no reason to overdo this. Starting out, this level one, two. So take your time. Check your weights. Make sure you're not lifting too hard. Make sure your form is really good. And use that pause button if you need it. Take breaks. That's okay. Mm. All right, you guys. Here we go. 
go into our stretch. And we're going to do our quads first. Grab the right ankle and get that quad. That right quad. Stand up nice and tall. And now the side. And let's get that right hamstring and calf. Toe up. Reaching down. Getting both back sides the right way. Switch on the side. Right, left calf. Left hamstring. Stand up tall. Big chest stretch. Here we go. And exhale wide. Let's do it again. And wide. Front foot back a little bit. Okay, round three. Seven, seven, and seven. Right on the floor. Seven wide. Seven close. And then seven straight. Same kind of beat. Down. Up. Down. Hold. Up. Down. Hold. Up. Let's see the side. Sean, you get wider than that. Come on. Yeah, I need to have it. That's nice and wide. That's good for him. Same thing. Head is straight. Stomach and back is nice and tight. Make sure to breathe. We're good, good. We're going to switch over to the close ones. Let's go. In here nice and tight. Just like that. Up, hold. Down, hold. Up, hold. Down, hold. See how close my hands are? That's really, really important. The elbows got to be in really tight. Don't let those elbows go. Okay? Good. See, Lisa, you got to get the elbows nice and tight. You're too wide there, girl. You make it closer, 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 closer. closer. That's a tough one. It's really, really hard. All right, that's the last the close one. Now I'll bring the hands a little bit wider. Yeah. The original ones we did about six inches wide and crack those out. Here we go. Down, hold, and up. One, hold, two, hold, hold. I'm checking on you. Good. Three more. Down, hold, up. Boom. And down, and hold, and settle. Nice. nice. Next one is a back exercise. It's called lawnmower. Like you're starting a lawnmower. Lay the cable on the ground. Step on the cable with your left foot. Grab the handle with your right hand and pull across your body. Right leg straight. Come on. He's over the ankle. Big back movement. And pull. And pull. Remember, you guys, don't overdo it. We're just starting out here. Pick a weight that's appropriate. Don't overexert yourself. Let's see the form back there. Good. See this twist movement that Lisa has? It's really, really important. She's extending back. She's got a nice straight line here. Her knees over her ankle. And here, breathing, I swear to God. Let's see Sean. He's got the resistance bands. There's a lot of tension at the top of that motion. That's okay. You're not going to have the same range of motion as you do with the weights. For two more, they're going to switch sides. All right, you guys? That's it. Let's go to the side. Remember at home, 8 to 15 reps here, too. Right away, to the left hand. And pull it back. Pull it back. The form doesn't change exactly the way it was on the other side. Let's see you guys. That, that's excellent. Oh, you guys are good. The big twist. You see the twist at the top? It extends a lot more movement in the chest. Works the lats a lot more. Sean's breaking a nice sweat. One thing about the resistance bands, you'll notice not as much tension at the bottom as at the top. But it's just as good an exercise. Good, you guys. we got four more here. I'll jump in there with you to finish. Here we go. Last one. All right, just your weights. Shoulder flies. You might want to let you wait a little bit here. A little bit uh, less than you think. Eight to 15 reps. One foot's in front of the other. Pop them up just like that. Here we go. Follow me. Boom. And down. See that little holes at the top? Bang. Just like that. Boom. Nice and high. Great exercise for shaping the deltoids. I'm trying to get out of Lisa's way here. The important thing is, see how high her elbows are? She's not up like this. Same thing with Sean. The resistance bands are great for this exercise because you really feel it in here, don't you? Oh, yeah. He's breaking a nice spot on his uh, Straight back. Head forward. Breathing. See how wide she is? It's really important. That width is really nice, so you might have to lighten your weights a little bit. Great, you guys. You got three left. Boom. Here we go. Last one. Get your weights. We're doing 20 once. It's a bicep exercise. Seven low, seven high, seven all the way. These bent, back is straight. 
Boom. It's a half movement. Only to here. And down. Only to here. Straight arms to the bottom. Really important. Let's see you guys. How far are you coming up? Right to there. Right to there. Good. Everything's the same with the lower half. Notice, knees are always bent. Back is always straight. Chest is always up. Eyes are forward. The great arm blast are really shaped from seven low. Now we're going to go seven high. You ready? Go seven high. Go. Boom. Stop right where my hand is. Right there. Right there. Make sure to breathe. Make sure your knees are bent. Make sure your back is straight. Come up and track that one. Man, the resistance bands, you really feel this, don't you? Yeah, I'm making the show on work today. I love that. It's so good. Good. Now you do the full monty. Let's go. All the way up and down. All the way up and down. Good, Reese. Looking good. Sean, real nice. Chest up. You see how they're not moving around? They're not jerking around? This is really, really important. We're going to grab some chairs because there's a few beats. We've got two left. We're going to do some dips. Last one. Boom. Nice. Put your weights away. We're going to dips. We're working the triceps in the back of the shoulders. On a nice, strong, sturdy chair. Place your hands on either side of your hips. Straighten the legs. Scoot out so you can clear your back. Nice and deep. And up. Don't overdo it here, guys. You can't go down this way. Don't worry about it. Just play with it. We're going to do this once. A little short range motion like that. Okay. And if also, option one. Here's option two. It's hard. Good. Let's see these guys. Nice. You see their pace? They're not rushing it. They're not overdoing it. They're going almost in parallel with the upper arm. Let's see that leap back right there. Good. Sean? Nice and parallel. Legs are straight. Toes are up. <laughs> Two more, you guys. Bang. All right. Three-part squats. Close, a little wider, even wider. Okay? We're doing eight, each one. Here we go. You guys ready? We're like you're on a pair of skis. Bring it up. Hands up. Drop that butt down. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Nice. Let's see the form. Knees over the toes. She's not going not knees. That's not good. Nice and tall. A little prayer at the top, hoping that it will go away, the pain, but it's so good. Good, Sean. Nice and, nice and tall there, man. Kick that heel out a little bit. You want to make sure you're on a pair of skis going forward. Now we're going to go a little bit wider. Show you guys. Hands on the thighs. Bring it up. Skis at the bottom. Eight reps each move. Chest is up. Eyes are forward. Let's see you guys. Oh, that's so nice. That looks really good. Nice straight backs, you guys. Sometimes people can't do that. You have to lean forward a little bit. That's okay. Last one. Looks like this. Let me show you. Nice and wide. Good. Hands are here. You got to push out in the last one. Push the knees out. And up. Push the knees out. And up. Push the knees out. And up. Good. Drive that pelvis forward. Turn those knees out. Heads up. Nice little pause at the bottom. Boom. Good. They got two more. Just like that. Good form, you guys. Nice and deep. Last one. All right, let's stretch. Doing that quad. Here it comes. Stand tall. Grab the foot. Remember, use the chair if you've got one. Other side. Here we go. Nice. Let's get the right hamstring and calf. Bend over. Pull that toe up. Good. Just like before, you guys. It's a little cool down. It gives you a chance. Give you a chance to bring your heart rate down. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Pull wide across the chest. One more. Here we go. Up tall and wide. Let's get the shoulders front and back. Nice work. We're going to see you tomorrow for Tiger Ass. Nice work, you guys.